The forecasts that are set out in this paper are really foundational, fundamental for the way we think about global health in the 21st century for several reasons. First of all, we're going to see huge demographic shifts in populations across the world. That means we're going to see older populations and relatively fewer younger populations. That's going to change the nature of our health systems and the resources that we need to provide to our communities. At the same time, we're going to see pressure on women and particularly the sexual reproductive health and rights of women. And we need to do all we can to protect those rights and place greater emphasis on women's health and the role of women, particularly their political participation in society during the 21st century. And I would say also there's a third dimension which sits at the interface between global health and global politics. And that is the importance of migration. We're going to see so many countries see their populations decline that the only way those countries are going to be able to protect themselves economically, to protect themselves in terms of their security, their health security, is by actually encouraging liberal immigration policies. And of course, we live at a time today of populism and nationalism where to talk about liberal immigration policies is anathema. And yet migration is going to be a crucial instrument, a crucial policy instrument for protecting the health security of countries in the future.